I would be mentioning this every time when we talk about drugs that affect neurotransmitters. Please do not abruptly stop. Unless unless it is a super compelling emergency. And by then, of course, it won't just be you making the call. That will be the entire team. Please do not stop this abruptly. Because what happens here? So I'll explain this in every end because it can be a bit of a handful. With chronic administration of, say, an antagonist. So for instance, you have... This is your D2 receptor. Oh, I gave a D2 receptor antagonist. It's blocked. Your body kind of, it's like, hey, what's happening? Why is the dopamine working in the D2 receptor? Where, what's the D2 receptor doing? Okay, I think we need more D2 receptors. So the body will start, which you call upregulating. So, ala, tumami na bigla ang D2 receptors mo. So, nakablock ito, and then the dami yan. So, as you increase the dose, pablock din lahat yan. Over time, okay, you use the therapeutic dose, you start blocking the up, even the upregulated D3 receptors. What happens when you suddenly stop? Okay, remember, you started with only one. Now I have like, uh, damina, like upregulate na nga. But then, you abruptly stop your D3 receptor antagonist. So, you have all these D3 receptors that are just like, they're there. They're upregulated, but no one is binding to them. What else is left in your body? That can bind to these. The only thing left in your body that can bind to these since you stopped the drug is dopamine. And what is dopamine? Dopamine is not an antagonist. It's an agonist. So you end up with rebound psychosis. Because that's a lot of dopamine binding to your D2 receptors and the mesolimbic pathway. What else? The same thing can happen with histamine and cholinergic, uh, muscarinic acetylcholine receptors. Yeah. So H1 receptor a block, not upregulate. You block all of them. You suddenly stop the 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 antipsychotic, which also happens to be a an antihistamine. What happens? Histamine will bind to them. A histamine promotes wakefulness. Eh? Oh yeah, rebound insomnia. So basically, kabalik taran, opposite of the effect of the therapeutic effect. So if the therapeutic effect was sedation. So the withdrawal effect is rebound insomnia. So this is generally the case for to be safe i assume this is a case for any med that, that hits neurotransmitters yeah any med that hits cns neurotransmitters expect withdrawal to be possible even in meds that you would not think withdrawal to be possible like pregabalin for instance we've seen withdrawal there okay so yeah tapering of course um you really gotta be careful with this um uh, again Horowitz et al. 2021, they have a paper on this. I don't recommend specific tapering strategies, even in Glynfar, because that's, you really got to individualize this. It can be very tricky for, PC, for people.